Um, Diamond Trucks North America has operations in three different counties around Charlotte. Not in Mecklenburg itself, but in Rowan County, Gasson County, and then here in York County. Each of those counties offers something a little bit different. Okay, so in Rowan County, the facility is close to Greensboro, close to Raleigh, and close to Charlotte. And so up in the north part of the region there, we draw employees from all those regions. And uh, here locally in Gaston County, we draw a lot of folks from Gaston County, some from Charlotte, but really a, a real tight local workforce. Then here in York, where we have our eastern corporate headquarters, uh, we draw from all the regions, including a heavy amount from Charlotte, but also a lot from South Carolina. So the skill difference between the people is often asked, what do you see differently between people between the different counties? And frankly, what we're seeing, what we're, who we're hiring, we hire a lot of folks with business degrees, we hire a lot of folks with engineering degrees, and there we're able to draw, because of our footprint here, we're able to draw employees from all the major universities in North Carolina, as well as in South Carolina. A great advantage to us. So, the automotive aspect of our business allows us to draw from the automotive program at Clemson, but we also have uh, great programs in business, finance, and accounting at the University of South Carolina, and some great engineering programs at the North Carolina schools. Um, we've been uh, less moving down here during the bottom of the recession, the start of the recession, a lot of great employees that were in the marketplace looking for other work, and even though we're an automotive company, We've drawn a lot of people from various industries, be it mortgage, banking, uh, from similar manufacturing industries to completely far-fetched things. People working in retail or household goods have come to us and we've been able to um, draw upon their experience and, and meld them quickly into our business. The American market is, is rather simple. There's East of the Mississippi and West of the Mississippi. Our company's main headquarters are on the West Coast, and then we have this presence here on the East Coast. Why are we here? Because 80% of the market is East of the Mississippi. Our customers are here, and our suppliers are here. And being that we're a German-owned company, access to the European uh, colleagues is also important. So in Charlotte, with US Air being hubbed in Charlotte, here we have direct access to London, to Paris, to Frankfurt, you know, you can actually have dinner with your family in Charlotte and the next morning you have breakfast in London. Absolutely, the connections are key to locating here in Charlotte. Uh, other cities we often go into from our, from our business because we have quite a NAFTA presence is access to Mexico. Again, you can have a leisurely breakfast with your family in, in Charlotte and have lunch in Mexico City, do business all afternoon and be back at home in your own bed in Charlotte that same night. Um, those kind of one trips, especially from the executive level, where either you want to go to Detroit or New York or Chicago or Mexico City or Miami or Dallas or even Los Angeles, you can travel without bags, get your business done and be back. So Charlotte's hub is for you, uh, being a hub of the U.S. here, gives us all that access. Yeah, Others talk about, what about the other countries? Well, great, we go to Melbourne, Australia, we go to Moscow, we go to Dubai, we go to Tokyo. In all those cities, we can be in less than 24 hours. So, a great access to those marketplaces where your business partners might be, where your customers might be, where your suppliers might be. That's why we're here in Charlotte. What we love about US Air is that there is some place we'd like to go and they don't have travel there. We have, we engage US Air in the conversation. We say, hey, what about country X or city Y? Sao Paulo, Brazil. We have a lot of access and a lot of business in Sao Paulo. Brazil's a large supplier to the automotive industry in the US. And we can be in Sao Paulo in 15 hours. Great access. What I find though, being in Charlotte, People who think of Charlotte, oh, you're the East Coast, and they think, oh, you're New York City, you're Washington, D.C., you're Boston. And this week, their first question is, what's the damage been in Charlotte for Hurricane Sandy? You know, Charlotte being 
four hours from the coast. You get great access to the coast. You can beat the beach. But yeah, you're somewhat insulated from incidents that hit the coastline. Okay? Charlotte is, uh, you know, if you really get the urge to go to the Caribbean, you can be in Nassau in an hour and 15 minutes. And this, this type of uh, access to the outdoors we see here in the mountains. You know, Charlotte has ski resorts. And ski resorts this year in Charlotte opened up the earliest ever. And on Halloween, ski resorts were open. And you have access to the, um, the arts and the culture of Asheville, a small little, I don't call it mountain village, but uh, truly with a local university and a whole arts and drama and music and theater environment that is a great, nice weekend away um, with the family or with your spouse. Um, the access from Charlotte to the culture that you might find in New York City with its the Broadway shows and everything else is great. You can be up there, spend a nice weekend in New York and be back home in the office on Monday morning. Um, so you get all the benefits of the whole East Coast without the hassles of the big cities of New York City and Boston and New York with all the travel and traffic problems they have. The Charlotte Regional Partnership itself has been a great resource. It has opened up our eyes to what's available in the Charlotte and the 16 County region. Um, through the Charlotte Regional Partnership, we found this facility here in Fort Mill that was under construction at the time and needed a tenant. And through our contacts at the Charlotte Regional Partnership, we found it and were able to come together with a deal here. And since then, the Charlotte Regional Partnership has embraced Daimler and has got us more and more involved in the community, in the community events, and we've been able to get our employees a broader view of what's going on in Charlotte through those contacts we made in this year.